Well, uh, in Turkey, access to information is, uh, is very important uh, for journalists. Uh, the problem is that uh, we have a, a, a legal uh, framework a legal uh, aspect, but uh, in practices, uh, all the standards put by the by the government are uh, dissuading, are, are, are not encouraging uh, journalists to apply for uh, being informed by public institutions. It's much more important nowadays in Turkey since we are talking about m massively talking about uh, many ministers involved in corruption cases uh, in, a, in a period where uh, the judiciary is very uh, controlled by the government. So in a way investigative journalists and uh, the profession is uh, in a position to uh, to exert uh, the control on, on uh, the good practice, practices or uh, on uh, on bad use of uh, government uh, power. Uh, that's why investigative journalists are on the pressure in, on judicial pressure, all kind of uh, uh, how to say. Uh, uh, Articles or report uh, released through Twitters to uh, fr from social media are on the control, and the government is not hesitating to blanket ban the website. Uh, last year and uh, this year, uh, Twitter and YouTube uh, were uh, blanket ban in, in Turkey, and we uh, w judiciary didn't uh, refer to the right of a journalist and uh, to the public opinion to be informed, but we waited uh, until uh, the constitutional court gave this uh, successful and positive uh, decision and let free uh, this social media aspect. Social media became specially a target after Gezi uh, protests in June uh, last year. And, uh, and the government has taken uh, many uh, 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 restrictions uh, against social media and uh, the the, the power of intelligence services has been uh, uh, raised. Uh, we have a b body in Ankara, uh, uh, the TIB, the High uh, Telecommunication Board, able to suspend uh, social uh, media networks. And uh, of course, uh, journalists are facing this uh, administrative, judiciary and governmental pr pressure. Uh, it is very important uh, to, uh, to replace uh, this judiciary role by a real journalistic control in the name of, uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, good governance. And I th but the polarization, political polarization in Turkey is targeting uh, free journalism as well because people in the name of supporting the government, some part of Turkish society is not ready to to uh, to hear about uh, corruption uh, coming from uh, authorities and are uh, ready to target one part of the professions. Uh, we have a law protecting the right to be informed, so to apply for uh, obtaining. Uh, public information uh, coming from go government's body, but the, st uh, the standards put uh, uh, in this framework is discouraging uh, journalists. So you apply for obtaining information, you have to wait 15 days to, for, for, for get, getting this information. Uh, there is a high uh, commission to apply. Uh, you you have to wait one month more to, for, for getting the an answer to your appeal, and then of course uh, you you have the the court process. I interviewed many 
famous investigative journalist in Turkey and uh, ask them uh, how often they use uh, these materials, these tools. And uh, I was not surprised to hear that as they know already uh, the, 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 the negative uh, reply of uh, public authorities, they are almost not using these, uh, these, uh, these tools. So I think that uh, uh, the journalism uh, is become, uh, becoming, um, journalism is becoming a more uh, dangerous uh, profession in, in Turkey since uh, uh, we are living in a country candidate to e EU, uh, dealing with uh, EU reforms since, uh, since uh, 15 years, but, uh, but paining to achieve uh, these uh, standards and to, to fulfill this uh, community acquis.